Let's talk about the You So Good TC30 trail and wide left camera. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Let's explore what's in the box. What you're gonna find inside is an instruction manual, USB-A to USB-C, meter and a half of the mounting belt, 32 gigabytes memory card, eight non-rechargeable batteries, and the camera itself. The camera itself is very well built. Uh, the casing surrounding the main components uh, can pretty much take any impact. And it's very sturdy all around. You've got hinges on the side, a speaker, a, another buckle that is keeping the front and back of the case together, locking ring, another buckle which holds eight batteries, DC output, mounting slot. You have the hinges and the buckles for a mounting strap, and that's pretty much it on the outside. Inside, we have the IR sensors, a main CMOS camera, 36 megapixel, 4K, uh, 30 frames per second, a two inches screen, a bunch of buttons to uh, navigate throughout the menu and setting it up, a test button so you can test something before you actually let the camera go and start recording, and a uh, locking system and so on. And then we have the PRR, uh, PIR um, sensors as well that measure the light and the distance and the changes to, to environment. And um, so it's pretty good. And it's, you know, it's, it's very well protected from outside conditions. It is um, IP66 waterproof. So that will give you a peace of mind if you're leaving it hanging on the tree, on a fence, on a shed, somewhere far away when you're not visiting very often. Now, I've been using this camera for, uh, for quite a long time uh, before I decided to do this review. I do record uh, wildlife videos. I go to the forest. I uh, take videos of birds, foxes, deers, um, most of the time for the school projects for my boys, uh, but I'm also interested. I test the devices and I think this is advertised as a 4K crystal clear uh, pictures. However, when I looked at the content I've recorded, it's still pretty noisy. Um, if there is too much light or you're facing the camera towards the light, it's definitely gonna be showing you more um, um, granular picture and you can see the quality isn't perfect. However, I mean, for the price that it comes from you so good, I think it's pretty, pretty good deal. If someone takes it away, you know, you don't have to be worried that you spend hundreds of pounds and now it's, the camera is missing and so on. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a GPS location or a Wi-Fi that you can connect to an app just to see uh, instantly in a real time whether something has been recorded, whether someone is tampering with the camera, but it's still a really good device. And it's very sturdy and it's, I've been leaving it in, a, in a, a very rainy conditions, very windy conditions attached to a tree branch, tree stem itself, um, leaving it low to the ground, very near the animals. Um, I even had a footage where some of the animals' foxes were poking with the camera. Nothing really happened to it. And I think if for the, the value for the money, it's really good. So I don't know if, you, if, you, if, if you're interested in recording maybe um, activity on a trail or on a farm, or maybe you have a problem with some animals um, you know, uh, on the farm as well, then that device can definitely give you that peace of mind and record something so you can later on investigate. And uh, it's a low cost as well, yeah? So um, it's a really cool device. Bulky, pretty heavy, runs off eight batteries. Um, I've used it for a week without changing a battery and it lasted perfectly fine. You just need to make sure that the memory card that you're using can take amount of storage unless you're overlapping your uh, last videos. But, you know, if you're investigating something, you probably want to have a continuous videos recording just to see what, when has happened so you can they take an action. But yeah, it's really good, very sturdy, taking all the weather conditions, and I've been very happy with it, and it worked perfectly fine. So let me know what you think. See you later, guys.